Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Molly here and I thought this would be a fun video to do. I have decided to take the clutter bug quiz of what type of clutter bug you are because I was watching the um, Rachel Cruz show and I just saw this quiz and since I tried to live a minimalist lifestyle and I've been trying to figure out what my organization tips, like the best tips for me to follow would be, I think thought this would be a good help. <laughs> and <laughs> it turns out it really is a big help. I took the quiz and I found out that I am a butterfly. So it says that I love visual abundance and organizational simplicity. I am a visual person, out of sight, out of mind. You need visuals fast and an easy system, like clear bins and baskets and lots of books, which is very true. So, when I usually come home after work, I just put my bags right on my chairs, my coat right on the chair. It's horrible. My parents always tell me to stop, and I don't. I really should. I do put them away, like, on the weekends, but it's bad. So... And that is definitely a yes. I am definitely a butterfly. I do need hooks and systems, like clear systems, so I can see everything. I like to have things out to see them, like my Craig machine, my tea kettle, um, coats and jackets. It's really bad. And then, so, some of the traits, um, things on top of your dresser, on the floor, which is kind of true. I try to keep my floor as clean as possible because I don't want to trip over things. Um, but like, it's just, sometimes that things just like can add up very fast. I keep a lot of stuff on my kitchen table and I do go through it like at least twice a week, but there's that. Um, and then, so the easiest thing for me, which I do like, and I can see it that she talks about in her systems that we could use as butterflies, is that it's definitely the first one I could see is clear bins. I really like that. I have clear bins for my PlayStation games, my Nintendo games, and the controllers. I bought them at Target. They work great. I just put things in there, and they're done. They're away. They look nice in storage when I'm done with them. And then also, too, on the side here, I have my TV controllers and <clears throat> excuse me, my books. Um, but yeah, and um, apparently we can get a lot emotional towards our belongings, which is kind of true. It depends, like, if it was a gift or not um, for me or, like, if it has the memory. It's actually going to be very hard to let go sometimes that I try to tell myself yeah it's just a memory and you know those memories that are good to have will stay with us so and also too it says labels labels pictures in the bins um I don't label anything I don't feel like I really need to because I don't have a big space but I can see like if you like do knitting crocheting like labeling like the, where your hooks are for that or needles and like the colors and stuff or like if you have a big thing of journaling for like journals a lot of stuff for that I don't I just have basic pins um, and markers so I don't have that um, it also says try to toss 21 items a month to purge things run around fast and try to get 21 items I do like the idea of the minimalist game where you get one, away, you find one item at the beginning of the month to take away from each day. So on the first day, it'd be one item, two day two, two items. I do like that. I haven't done it. I think that'd be an interesting video to do if I ever do it. I don't think I have enough stuff to do it. But I do have a box at the um right next to my door and I will definitely put things in there as soon as I see them I feel like that has really helped me to decide do I really need this or not and then two hooks and open shelvings work the best and I do believe that I do like the vertical space and just putting things like I said like my PlayStation charger controllers and chargers my Nintendo controller chargers laptops I do like that system it's one of my favorites and i've been trying to now when i since i've seen this i've been trying 
to figure out ways to incorporate that because I do like it the best. And the number one thing too is says to remember the one second rule. So the one second rule is if you can do it in one second, put it away, take it care of it, whatever. I've been trying my best to do that as much as I can, especially when I come home, I try to tell myself, don't sit down, you need to do something. It takes one second, go wash that dish, go wash your cup that you used, your mug, go put your jacket away, you know, put away your lunch box if there's anything in there. Um, I try to keep that one second rule, especially when I come home, just to do it. All it takes is one minute. I'm sorry, it's the one minute rule. All it takes is one minute. And it's just so easy. It just keeps in the back of my mind what I need to do. And it's, you know, just one minute. It's off my list already. I don't need to take care of it over the weekend or whatever on Friday night. So again, I did find this quiz a lot of fun to do. I thought it was cute. I have never watched her videos. I will leave the Rachel Cruz video that, um... I watched about this down below in the quiz down below in the um, information section description section of this video maybe I'll help you guys try to get organized I know we can all use a little organization that's why I made this video I thought it'd be fun and I really feel like I can definitely relate to this and it's kind of funny too because I do love butterflies and I was hoping when she was talking about butterflies, I mean about all the bugs, and she talked about butterflies, I was hoping to get that. Like I didn't, obviously you never know which one you're going to get, like I didn't know personally, and I don't like to take, you know, the approach, hey, hey, I want this certain thing, I'm going to get it on this quiz, like a Harry Potter sorting house quiz. But yeah, I did definitely think this was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. With um, and like I said, feel free to leave, even if you took the quiz too, feel free to leave a comment down below on the quiz, what you got on the quiz. I think it'd be fun. Um, or feel free to take the quiz and comment down below what you got. And if it changed a little bit of your setup in your house too and what you're thinking of. Um, and also that, have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!